Hi everyone, this is the video tutorial of Xexpress Store. I'm Ellie from Xexpress Themes and in this video I'm going to show you some of the general settings that you can do with this theme in your website. You can see this is the demo site of our Xexpress Store and in this video I'm going to show you how you can have this ticker text with ticker title then a logo which we call here is header image and these text here along with this fab icon and everything so let's begin our setting by logging into your WordPress here go to appearance and then click on customize in this uh, theme we don't have theme option so all the settings is to be done from customize So in customize these are the options that you get to bring change in your website Now let's go to general setting now the first setting option that you can see is sticker setting let's click on it there is an option if you want to show the sticker text on above here you, if you want them to show then you need to click on enable and if you don't want them then you can click on disable then you can put a ticker title then put a ticker text 1, 2, 3 and 4 you can have up to 4 text so let us put a text then click on save and publish you can also get the preview here we have our ticker title and four text which you can see after this let's go back and here we have site identity now with this it is the site title that is Xpress store just another WordPress site you can see here this is the text which is controlled from here now if you want a site icon which is basically a fab icon or a browser and the app icon uh, that you can see on each tab like this well you have two op two place from where you can have this fab icon or you can say site icon if you put the site icon from here then you the minimum image size that you have to upload is 512 pixel you can select a file from here let's upload a file I'm gonna get from my downloads select it you can skip cropping or you can crop your image and after this you need to save and publish Now let's again go back now the next thing is color you can change the header text color which is basically this header text you can change its text to anything as per your preference or you can also and you can also change background color from here background color is the color of the background of the site well let me keep it white for now and then click on save and publish now with this the next option is header image header image is basically a logo that will appear here so let us add a header image which must be of 300 by 70 pixel is the best uh, image size well I'm gonna upload a file let me select an image then select it I don't wanna crop it so I'm gonna skip cropping 
after this click on save and publish as you can see your options are saved well I missed this theme option now from here you can do is select your background type that is you can select any color on your background or any image if you select an image then you can select those in that image from here or you can select a pattern from the set of patterns that we have provided like this but I have chosen a color and click on save and publish now after this as I have said you can also select a fab icon from here well if you select a fab icon from here then the standard size of fab icon is 40 by 40 pixel then the next thing that you can do is layout setting that is if you want your website uh, web layout to be in boxed layout then you can select this or you want a no empty space on your screen uh, of the website then you can select this full width to have that full width screen uh, view then click on save and publish now let's again go back the next thing we have in our general setting is responsive setting that is you can enable this if you want uh, to have a good mobile view on your smartphones and on uh, desktop and everything then here is the custom CSS section from where you can paste a uh, custom CSS code and to bring uh, specific changes if you are familiar with coding and here is footer copyright text where you can write any copyright text and you can save and publish which will appear just uh, below the footer and the next thing you can do from here is you can select a static page or you can show a latest post option which I have already explained in my another in my next video of uh, setting a home page so you can check out that video if you are you have any confusion regarding how to set a home page so these are the settings that you can get in general settings now I'm going to show you all uh, what is the effect of all the settings that we have made in our front page now you can see here is the header image and here is the header text and it's soft text here is sticker title, ticker text and everything and you can see here is this uh, site icon and your website is in full width web page layout that is it don't have any space on here or there so these are the things that you can do with the uh, general settings and for other settings and the configuration I'm gonna be make uh, I'm gonna be showing you in another video so thank you very much if you have any confusion regarding the contents of this video then you can always refer to our online documentation that you can find in our website or you can write me down below and I'll be I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible thank you very much